This video will demonstrate a closed reduction and percutaneous pinning of a lateral condyle fracture in a 14-year-old boy with a two-week-old injury. The fracture is not visible on the lateral view, but can be seen clearly on the AP and the multiple oblique views that were obtained. If doubt remains as to the presence or the type of injury, contralateral films can be obtained, as seen here. No further imaging should be required, except occasionally an MRI for occult fractures. In this case, which was referred to us from an outside hospital, a CT scan was obtained, which was not only unnecessary, but it also exposed the child to unwarranted ionizing radiation. The first step in treating the patient is to determine the type of fracture that the child has sustained. An arthrogram is performed in the posterior portal to see if the fracture has reached the articular surface. The joint is injected with half-strength contrast dye. The joint is then manipulated to disperse the dye. In this case, the AP view did not demonstrate the fracture line very well. Therefore, a slightly oblique view was obtained. The fracture was determined to be a type 2 fracture under the Weiss classification seen here in the center, with 2 millimeters of displacement and an intact articular surface. The child was therefore indicated for a closed reduction and percutaneous pinning. First, a 0.062 inch KOR is placed transversely across the joint line to prevent any further displacement. Multiple fluoroscopic views are obtained as the wire is advanced to confirm placement and reduction. A second percutaneous wire is then driven up the lateral column. And again, multiple fluoroscopic views are obtained as the pin is advanced. A final arthrogram confirms reduction and pin placement. The patient is then placed into a long arm cast. Once the cast is removed, the pins are pulled and the patient begins a rehabilitation program. For more information, please visit us at littlearms.org.